Hi there, my peeperoonies! So, this is another review of just Marvel Legends. I don't remember what part it is. Forget about it. This is a special review of Marvel Legends. San Diego Comic Con, Kazar, and mm, I forget her name. Shauna? Sheena? Anyways, I'll put her name on the video, okay? So, it's, it's a three pack from Kazar. Comes with three figures. It's San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It's very rare and uh, it's going up for a lot of money. Before I did the first one, I did, I, well, I did one with Apocalypse. This comes with, just to finish that off, this Apocalypse. This guy comes with this. I don't remember what this was, but it was like, a, I think it's this idol that he, he, he draws energy from. So, with the little guy, still 5 on 5. On with Kazar and the three pack of San Diego Comic Con. Uh, what year? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make a difference. I have this. The, the, I have it in storage. It, how rare it is? It's pretty rare on card. Like I said in the video of just female, uh, female uh, Marvel Legends from like uh, all the bucks they made. The the female buck or bodies of, of Marvel Legends of females. Um, loose. Shauna, or she, or Sheena, Shauna, Shauna, okay, I think it's Shauna, but listen, you know what, I, I could be wrong with the name, because, you know, I'm tired, I do a lot of videos every day, so, you know, be nice to me, if you want to leave me a comment and leave her a name, no problem, and I won't be mean, um, I understand, you know, like, I have, it's too many figures to remember, again, her, I gave her a 10 on 5, beautiful, beautiful scalp job, beautiful costume she's wearing, well, she's not wearing much, like I said, the staff comes from the girl from Planet of the Apes, where Mark Wahlberg um, uh, appeared in the movie. I love all the Planet of the Apes movies. Once once I, I dig out all those figures, I'll show those, my NECA ones, and a few other ones I have. I don't have no, uh, no Mego, um, uh, Mego uh, Planet of the Apes. But if you want to see a review on Planet of the Apes, really original, original and really cool, go and see Laugh It Up Ball 70. Go to Fez Laugh It Up Ball 70. That's his name. That's his YouTube channel. He's really good. Laugh It Up Ball 70. Okay? 77 or 70? No. That's it. Laugh It Up Ball 70. Uh, he's really good. He does reviews mostly of Star Wars and he's from the UK. As I like his character. He's very sweet and he loves Planet of the Apes just like me. Ch cheers, Fez. Okay. Now on with the review. 10 on, te 10 on 5. Beautiful figure. Look at this. Look at the back. Look at the front. Look at that. Look at the face. Look at the. Look how beautiful she is. Look. She's gorgeous. I love the way they, they, they sculpt the hair. Next, we go to Kazar. Comes with a knife that you could put on the holster here. Right there. Take out the knife. You could put it right there. What I don't understand is that there's a hole in his back, but well, probably because they use a different bulk for other people, from other other figures, and probably because they use the, the book of a uh, of Marvel Legends existing from from Toy Biz. It's possible because the Toy Biz ones always had a, a, a hole in the back where you got a little stand with a little with a little stem a little stick that was transparent. The stand was trans black usually or, or transparent, and you would stick it and it would be like actions that you go like this, you know that he's kind of jumping like this. So, ah with his knife in his hand and he's ready to stab somebody with it and I'll show you how like that wow, he's jumping on somebody I give him five on five, love him Last is the saber tooth. Beautiful figure, beautiful articulation. Uh, I love it. I love the sculpt on it. The Savage Land Kazar and the Savage Land three pack. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Look at the teeth on that critter, man, of the saber tooth. 
Uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, they they did it in. Uh, this doesn't say the date. If I can see the date, I can tell you when they made it. There's no date on these figures because they were made for San Diego Comic Con exclusive three pack. Uh, the pack goes for between 200 and 250 dollars loose individually. You pay between 50 and 80 dollars. So pass junkie out. Hope you enjoyed that small review of Kazar and the Sav and and. Uh, K's are from the Savage Land. I don't remember the exact name of the of the packaging. But look, I have it. It's in the pa it's in storage. I paid a hundred dollars for it when it first came out. I thought it was expensive, but do I regret it? No, I do not regret opening it, and I do not regret uh, buying it because honestly, the packaging doesn't do it justice. The packaging is beautiful. One day I'll take it out and I'll re-review this one. That's what I'm gonna do because honestly, sometimes I make mistakes, and I'm sorry if I make mistakes. But I'm only human. Can't be perfect like game, and you can't have always a perfect review. So I put him on top sometimes. No, I don't put him on top. I like to put her on top of him like this, and there we go. Stay plastic.